Hello, good morning, and welcome to your week of miracles. Hallelujah. God is so good. I hope everyone had a wonderful um, weekend, restful weekend. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. I hope everybody can see me clearly. Amen. Alvida, you're the first one. God bless you. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you had a restful weekend. Brad, good morning. God bless you. Welcome. Hallelujah. God is so awesome. I'm excited for what it is that God is doing, and I'm expecting for what it is that he is going to do this morning. <laughs> so excited about today. That's right, I'll be there. Bianca, I love you. Good morning. Hi, Sandy. Good morning. God bless you. Robert, good morning. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. God bless you. Nancy, good morning from church. God bless you. Amanda, God bless you. Good morning. Thank you for joining, guys. Thank you for inviting your friends and followers as you join. Amen. Yes, miracles are happening. We are having testimonies on a very uh, regular basis. We thank God. Yes, good afternoon. Your time, Bianca. Good morning. Or good morning, our time. <laughs> hey, Diane, I love you. I miss you. We haven't chatted in a while. God bless you. Terry, good morning. Yes, welcome, 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 everybody. Angela. Angela, I need to contact you for my Nigerian food. I know you just came back from Africa, right? <laughs> and you were supposed to, pro the plan was you were supposed to bring me some food. And so we'll talk about that later. Those are more important issues. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, everybody. I can feel the excitement in the room. Ryan Hernandez, it's been forever, girl. I miss you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ebeck, it looks like good morning. God bless you. Yes, yes. Good morning, everybody. Hallelujah. God, it's so awesome. As we jump on, uh, before we even uh, begin anything, let's just uh, let's just take a moment to just begin to honor God. Yes, good morning, Linda. Yes, yes, yes. I love you all. Father, we just thank you. After you share the broadcast of this morning, he the share button. I want you to type past something to just honor and welcome the presence of God. He is so good. Good morning, Carla. Good morning, Sandra. Let's take a moment and greet people. People are still jumping on. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thank you so much, Angela. I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> trying, to, trying to look cute like you. <laughs> Anne-Marie, love you. Good morning. <laughs> Angela said she got me. Okay, waiting on my, waiting on my, my Kilichi and my Suya from Nigeria. Amen. <laughs> good morning, Mimi. God bless you. Good morning, Courtney. Can you all tell I'm hungry? Talking about food this early morning. All right, let's just start to honor the Lord and just welcome our daddy. Amen. He is so good. Father, we just welcome you to this place. You are so awesome. God, there is no one like you. You are the king of glory. You are the king of kings. You are the God of gods. You are the ancient of days. Hallelujah. Daddy, we love you. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that we can come boldly into your presence, God, and just, just, just sit at your feet, just sit in your lap, God. Just receive from you this morning. We love you so much, Papa. Have your way on the broadcast this morning, Almighty God. Have your way on the broadcast, sweet Holy Spirit. We we love you, Jesus. Come and take control. Come and do what it is that you want to do. We thank you for this massive wave of revival that has begun, Father. We thank you for all the miracles that we are seeing on a very regular basis, God. We thank you that this week will mark the week, God, of an exponential increase of the manifestation of your presence, of the manifestation of your power. Just type out, Holy Spirit, welcome. Holy Spirit, you are so welcome here. I just sense in my spirit right now that somebody who in your emotions, you've been in a lot of turmoil. And right now the presence of God is being released. And, 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 and the peace of God is being released. And the power of God is being released uh, to, to eject everything that has brought turmoil. And that in the name of Jesus. Morning, Prophet Tricia. God bless you. Good morning, uh, Prophet Jesus. Y'all follow Prophet Tricia if you are not a friend or, 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 or following her. She does her broadcast on Friday evening. So go ahead and follow her. She She's been talking a lot about promotion in this season. I believe it's the season that we are in. And follow her and you will be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. God is awesome. Amen. Welcome to your week of miracles. Hallelujah. Go ahead and uh, type it out this morning as you jump on. After you share the broadcast, type out, this is my week for a mega testimony. Type it out. It is my week for a mega testimony. Hallelujah. Declare it. Say 
it is my week. It is my week of a mega testimony. And if I find somebody on the broadcast that the Lord... <clears throat> Highlights to you and, and, and tap out, call their name. Hallelujah. Say Trisha, say Sharon, say Diane. It is your week of a mega testimony. Hallelujah. I'm just going to dive right into the word of God. I'm going to speak to you a little bit from the word of God. And then we're going to begin to pray this morning and activate. Hallelujah. All through the weekend, I heard the spirit of God saying to me uh, that, that, that there is something that is about to take place in your life. There is a, there is a supernatural divine interruption about to take place in your life that is going to completely alter the course of your destiny. A lot of times, you know, I feel like words can become so cliche when we hear words like breakthrough. There was one week the Lord spoke to me on this broadcast. The Lord said to me, Agnes, I tell my people uh, it is time to celebrate. Tell my people it is time to celebrate. And, and, I, and I came and I told them, I said, it is time to celebrate. And I, and I actually struggled with that word because I was like, God, is this, is this just really me wanting to make people happy? And as I released that word, uh, less than an hour after I released that word, uh, there was a 13 year miracle that I have been believing God for. A 13 year miracle that I saw within the hour take place. It came to pass. It happened just like God had said. Hallelujah. Do y'all see a white blurry something moving in the screen? I don't know if it's the vision. I don't know if it's an angel. I don't know if it's the camera. Hallelujah. And so I heard the spirit of God say uh, uh, that, that there's something about to take place. You're like every test. Go ahead and share the broadcast, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. It's your week for a mega testimony. Um, uh, uh, every testimony is valuable, but there are some testimonies that will bring a complete turnaround. Again, don't let it be a familiar word to you. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, Elijah was saying, I have heard the sound of abundance of rain. And he kept telling his servant, go back and look. And the servant is like, there's nothing. Go back and look. Go back and look. So it became common to the servant. I keep going back. I keep going back. And then all of a sudden he said, I see the cloud the size of a man's hand. Hallelujah. And so there are some testimonies that are, that are valuable. Uh, every testimony is valuable, but there are some testimonies that will bring a complete turnaround in your life, in your family, in your finances, in your ministry. I hear the Spirit of God say that life as you know it is about to completely change. <laughs> are you ready? Life as you know it is about to completely change. Good morning, Lori. I think I saw Lori join. Lori Suda, I love you, my sister. There is a test and a good morning, Carla. Good morning, Sandra. I love you all. Hey, Liz, God bless you. Yo, go ahead and hit that share button. Amen. Let's get the run. Feel that. There is a testimony that will positively alter your destiny. That is the type of testimony I'm speaking about this morning. <clears throat> there were a number of times that Israel had been in a place of captivity. Do you know what it feels like to be in captivity? It means that all of a sudden you're having a normal day and somebody comes and takes you, takes your family, takes your wife, takes your children into captivity. Some of you can relate to the place of captivity because of the series of attacks that you and your family have been in. And so Israel, sometimes they will go into captivity. But the word of God said, Psalm 126 verse 1, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, good morning Diana, God bless you, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like those that dreamed. What I heard the Spirit of God say this morning is that there is something there is something so dynamic. There is something so powerful. There is something so remarkable. Hey, Nate, good morning. There is something so supernatural that God is going to do in your life this morning. There is something so undeniable that God is going to release in your life this week. That is going to feel like a dream. The children of Israel had been bound in captivity for many years. Psalm 126 verse 1 says, 
When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like those that dream. Hallelujah. I love the translation this morning because some people can, can relate to the place where it seems like the enemy stole from you. There is a translation that says that when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, there is something that the enemy stole from you that there is going to be a return. And I love the scripture because when it comes back to you, it's not just going to come back to you in the weight and the wave and the capacity from which it was stolen. But the word of God says that when the thief is found, it has to pay back sevenfold. So I prophesy a release. I prophesy an unlocking of a sevenfold return. You know, the word of God says, sing O barren, break forth into singing. For more are the children of those that are barren than those of the married wife. I don't think it was speaking that naturally about, about a, uh, somebody who was not married compared to somebody who was married. It was talking about those uh, who can relate um, to a season of barrenness in certain areas. To a season of fruitfulness in certain areas. I talked about Zechariah last week. Zechariah had served God. Zechariah had been faithful. The word of God says he was blameless. Some of you are standing this morning and you are saying, I've done all I know to do. I've sowed seed. I've prayed. I've put a praise on it. I've worshipped. But it seems like there has been a hold up. Hey, Lori, I love you, my sister. It seems like it has been a hold up to the release of the mega. I thank God. Like I said, this morning, I'm not just talking about paying your light bill. I'm talking about something that you have been traveling and laboring and believing God for. Your mega, your massive, your undeniable, your explosive, your exponential breakthrough and testimony. And so Zechariah was blameless. Zechariah had been serving God. Hallelujah. Zechariah had been serving God. Zechariah had been blameless before God, but his wife was bearing. I was thinking about it this morning. I said Zechariah must have been at least... 60 or 70 years old and and the word of God says he had never faltered that some of you you are too faithful before the Lord for a very long time for a very long season but some of you are like it might as well be 30 years because it feels like it Jesus they had served God for many years they were blameless hallelujah and then one day suddenly there was a turn, and I want to turn there for a second, then we're going to begin to pray. I want to really go into this a word on Zechariah, because I believe that as I release it to you, I believe that a season of fruitfulness is going to be unlocked upon your life. Luke 118 says, Zechariah and Elizabeth had been barren for many years. The word of God says they were old. As a matter of fact, the translation said they were stricken in years. But pastor said, that's, that's kind of different when the word of God says you're stricken in years. It means you've been waiting for a while. Some of you can relate to that this morning. You've been waiting for a while. Hallelujah. Luke 1 verse 6 says, Both of them were righteous in the sight of God. They were blameless. Hallelujah. Some of you have been asking in this season, God, in fact, I'm even seeing right now where the enemy has brought. Good morning, Prophet Elaine. I love you. I see where the enemy has even tried to bring condemnation to say, it must have been something you did. It must have been that thing you did. But how many of you know that it's the blood of Jesus that qualifies us? It's the fact that we are sons and daughters of God that qualifies us. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so Luke 1 verse 6. Both of them were righteous in the sight of God. Some of you have been asking in this season, did I do something wrong? Why is there a hold up? Some of you, there has been even a demonic barricade to your promise. But this morning, as we begin to pray, the barricade, the barrier is going to be broken. Hallelujah. The word of God says in Isaiah 45, and I'm coming back to Zechariah. I want to lay the foundation of this. So when you lift up your voice to pray, you're going to pray in faith and you're going to know that your miracle, that your mega testimony is guaranteed. Hallelujah. The word of God says, thus says the Lord to his anointed. I will, I will break in pieces 
the gates of brass ara babashke ribrando sukura baskayata i will break in pieces the gates of brass i will tear in sunder the bars of iron this morning i declare in jesus name that every barricade hallelujah every barrier bore be karabasa to your mega release of your testimony in jesus name is broken the word of god says that paul and silas were locked up in prison hallelujah they tried to step out in the thing that god has called them to do and they were beaten hallelujah some of you can seasons where you have felt beat down by the enemy hallelujah i love what the psalmist says it's actually not zacharias luke 1 verse 6 candy i love what the psalmist says and i'm going in and out of luke 1 hallelujah i want to lay and sometimes i don't really teach on the broadcast but i want to lay some foundation to build your faith because faith is the midwife that is going to unlock your mega testimony even this morning hallelujah and so some of you have felt beat down hallelujah maybe not physically glory to god but you are you are felt beat down even by words that have been released like arrows against your destiny glory to god paul and silas they, 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 they were sent by god now now they have plenty of reason to question some of you the warfare that like the battles you have been through in this season has given you plenty of reason to question did i hear god have i completely lost it did i miss god somewhere it seems like i left him on the the other road because it seems like all hell has broken loose against me uh, um paul and silas and um, uh, res residing in their dna was the ability to transform their city not only were they were they were they going to break through in themselves but they were carrying breakthrough for the city hallelujah they were actually carrying breakthrough for nations but suddenly they found themselves bound suddenly they found themselves in prison now it was the midnight hour hallelujah it was supposed to be when the day was breaking but all of a sudden in the moment when it was supposed to be like the day was breaking they were in prison but here's what they did they began to pray and that's what we're about to do this morning they began to pray oh rabon shakarna basata they began to call upon the lord with whom nothing is impossible they began to call upon the lord who said i am the god of all flesh hallelujah is there anything too difficult for me go ahead and share the broadcast guys we're about to start praying in a minute hallelujah i feel like i can feel the strength in the room i can feel people already praying right now go ahead and start praying if you can pray in the holy ghost begin to pray in the holy ghost i hear it like an earthquake just like paul and silas as they were praying as they were praising he said shut there was a rumbling hallelujah the prison could not hold them glory to God I don't know what has imprisoned you I don't know what has kept you in a semi place of captivity but as you lift up your voice hallelujah it cannot stay in the powerful name of Jesus Father I know that the word suddenly has been a buzzword in the body of Christ for a while hallelujah but that is your word this week in the name of Jesus, uh, that there will be a sudden turnaround. I'm, I'm not, again, I, every testimony is valuable, but this one that is about to happen, what I saw, is not something you're going to be wondering, oh, is that what Agnes was talking about? No, it's something that is going to alter the course of your destiny. It's something that is going to alter your generations to come. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah, I'm getting excited. I feel the power of God. Y'all begin to pray, family. Begin to pray. Miracles are taking place right now. It's like I see, like I'm seeing the Father. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the courts of heaven. I'm seeing the Spirit of God advocating on your behalf concerning the thing that you are lifting up before the Lord. And I'm seeing the Lord releasing the answers like bombs. I'm seeing him releasing the answers like balls of fire into your life in the name of Jesus. God, we worship. We thank you even right now, even in this moment.
Let there be a movement in the realm of the spirit to birth for the answer. Oh God, just like a woman when she has come to the moment of birthing. Oh God, the moment comes and there is pressure released and she begins to bring forth. Hallelujah. I told you guys last week I kept hearing the scripture. Isaiah 66. I kept seeing the number 66. 66. And, I, and finally I asked the father. I said, Dad, what does 66 mean? And he said, Isaiah 66. And Isaiah 66 says, Shall I bring to the moment of birth and not cause to deliver? There are many of you watching this morning. You feel like you have entered into who? You can feel the baby kick. You can feel the rumbling in your womb. You can feel like you're, you are feeling like your destiny is about to change. You know that there is something more. You know that talk to me David you have been watching the sheep. You know that there is a kingly anointing on the inside of you. You know that there is a cell that God has put on the inside of you. You know that there is a destiny that God has put on the inside of you. You know that you are going to be debt free. You know your marriage is going to be restored. You know your children are going to be healed. You know that new job is going to come forth. You know your uh, a promotion has come. You know it. And this morning I see and I hear the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Saying that this is the moment to deliver. This is the moment where it's coming for. It's coming for. It's coming for in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all got to start praying. I know we haven't entered into the moment of prayer. But man after the power of God. <clears throat> Ah, Rabababasa. If you can just worship, please. Uh, if you got in a place where you can be undistracted right now in this moment, because Mary was having a normal day, and all of a sudden she was impregnated by the Spirit of God. Rabababasa. There are seeds of breakthrough. There are seeds of answers that God is, that God is planting in the womb of your destiny, even right now. Jesus, Luke one verse six. Both of them are righteous in the eyes of God, and suddenly. I want you to just type out it is my week of suddenly. I told you guys, God told me one morning, get ready to celebrate. And I said, I said, God, that's such a common word. This is yeah, she's with people happy. But as I declared that word in obedience to the Lord, within the same hour, a 13-year prayer request that I had been lifting up before the Lord within the same hour was answered. This morning, we're not playing games. We are going before God and we are accessing those things that he <clears throat> has spoken to us. Hallelujah. And I feel like I need to say this to somebody. For somebody watching this morning, your breakthrough is going to come in phases. You're hearing this word and, and there is like a frustration in your spirit saying, but I've been hearing this for a while. And God says, do not become weary in well-doing. Whoo. Ah, I'm literally going into a vision right now and I see somebody, it's a woman, it may be more than one person, but literally in your prayer closet, you are saying, God, I'm, but I'm tired. But Father, I'm tired. I've, I've heard this word. I've been carrying this for so long. I remember a friend of mine, <laughs> she was pregnant and, and I, it was around nine months from the time to birth. And I said to her, I said, Rachel, I said, Rachel, how are you doing? She said, I'm still pregnant. I mean, she was out to here. She looked exhausted. I mean, she's beautiful, but she was just like, I'm ready for this thing to come out. But she had to wait a few more weeks before it came forth. Hallelujah. Welcome, Miss Christy. Welcome. If you just joined us, go ahead and share. We're going to start praying in a second. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, some of you feel like, gosh, I'm out to see here. You know, my breathing is impacted. My sleep is impacted. My eating is impacted. But, but, but I hear the spirit of God say, don't, don't give, I feel like I need to release three warnings this morning. Don't give birth prematurely. Don't give birth to an Ishmael. Don't become weary in well-doing. Right now, I want to break up the spirit of weariness. Somebody is watching this morning. If it's somebody watching, uh, lift up your hands if it applies to you. Uh, you have become weary in the place of waiting. Now, you're not going to go out to sin. I'm not talking about, you know, you're saying you want to go out and, 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 you know, and get high, and smoke pot, or, or snort cocaine. I'm talking about you've just become tired 
um probo jilibranga daske rua shigi rua shigi rua shigi rua shigi i just <laughs> lori said she's ready for a c-section we gonna burn that thing naturally hallelujah i know y'all all you mamas on here you can relate you know even even i mean you don't even have to be a mama i heard bill johnson talking about when he write a book he feel like he's giving birth so so the man can relate as well hallelujah right now i just release a second win the Lord began to speak to me in church yesterday that, 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 that as it's coming to the end of the year, the enemy is starting to speak very loudly and saying, yeah, you said 2018 was the year. 2018 has come to an end and it did not happen. Number one, 2018 is not come to an end yet because the word of God says, my Bible says, hallelujah, that better is the end of a thing than the beginning. So that means that the year is not even over yet. There are some things that God is going to unlock and unleash and release at the end of this year that is going to cause it to be better than the beginning. And then even if it comes to the end of the year, so what? God is not limited by times and seasons. God is not restricted by the end of the beginning of the year. When God says it's time, it has to come to pass hallelujah when god says it's a moment for a new beginning it has to come to pass in jesus name y'all trying to take an epidural on me and do a c-section can y'all see all these women on here <laughs> i'm gonna teach a little bit more then we're gonna begin to pray good morning and god bless you i feel the power of god this morning Make sure you're in a place where you can pray and just begin to pray right now. Begin to commit unto the Lord and begin to declare, I thank you, Father. Mama, rebe, bebe, basa. Just like Elijah did. Elijah got into a birthing position. If you are in a place where you can kneel, if you can't kneel, some of you are taking your kids to work. Some of you are giving your kids the whooping because everybody's disorganized. So I know, I know it's Monday morning. <laughs> but if you are in a place where you can pray, hallelujah, just begin to pray. Glory to God. And just just do what you can. If you can do it in the midst of packing up lunch and changing the diaper, just go ahead and start praying. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for a release. We thank you, Lord God, for an unlocking. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Jerusha, I love you. And so let me let me uh let me just release one more thing about Zechariah, and then we're gonna begin to pray. Hey, Heidi, love you. Look at my girl family. I love y'all. God bless you. And so I heard a spirit of God say, uh, because the Lord, the, uh, uh, Zechariah, the angel told Zechariah, Zechariah, your prayer has been heard. Can I say that to you this morning? Can I prophesy that to you to shift your seasons? Your prayer has been heard. I love the way my, my pastor preaches it. He said, there's a translation that says, the prayer you have stopped praying the one that has not looked so impossible, the one that has not seen so long in coming, the prayer you have stopped praying, now I am releasing the answer. Hallelujah. The angel made a special announcement. So as we, as we, before we begin to pray this morning, I love the scripture that says, before you call, I will answer. And so before we petition heaven this morning, God says, special announcement. Your prayer has been heard. If there's one person in the room that believes this me, me this morning, I want you to type it out. Type it out. My prayer. All caps. Type it out. My prayer has been heard. Hallelujah. I prophesy over your life. You shall give birth to that with God as laws on the inside of you. In this season, some of you in this week, in the name of Jesus, I proclaim it, I pronounce it, I prophesy it in the name of Jesus. Elizabeth exclaimed, I love Luke 125. How kind the Lord is. Somebody this week is about to be, there's going to be a rude awakening, <laughs> but it's not a negative rude awakening. It's, it's a testimony that is going to shock you. Get ready to be shocked at the goodness of God. Elizabeth said, how kind the Lord is. This is going to be your testimony this week. Elizabeth said, <laughs> I heard the Spirit of God say, after you have recovered from the shock, that is going to be your pronunciation. 
That is going to be your proclamation. That is going to be your testimony. How kind the Lord is. Hallelujah. She says in this day, and here's the word family, and we're going to begin to pray. In this day, God has shown me favor and taken away my reproach. There's somebody watching this morning. You have been so, I heard, I have a friend, a prophet. There's something she has been believing God for for many years. And she says somebody came to her in her office. This was a number of years ago. And they said to her, is this your year of your testimony? She said, yes. They said, well, you said that last year. I want to speak this morning to somebody who has been petitioning some petition in heaven for something. And the enemy has mocked you. And said, well, you said that last month. You said that was your week. I thought it was the month of June. We now in November. What's going on? Can you imagine Ezekiel telling the well? Can you imagine? I don't know where Ezekiel came from. Elizabeth telling the woman, This is my month. And then she has her cycle. Well, this is my month. And then it doesn't happen. And she said, This is my year. And they said, Elizabeth, but you said that five years ago. I'm speaking to someone this morning that there is a mega issue that you have been presenting to God. But suddenly the day came. I hear the Spirit of God say, the day has come. Jesus. We now have about six women on the broadcast. Well, through the broadcast, a couple of ladies through work that we have seen become pregnant. They, they've told us, uh, they've told us, pray for us to get pregnant and they become pregnant. And I, and I believe that the Spirit of God said that is a sign to you that not only that there will be natural pregnancy, but for things that feel like you've been carrying, that you feel like even seasons and cycles of barrenness, I even see financial barrenness is going to be broken. Hallelujah. And Elizabeth said, this is going to be your decree family. God has shown me favor. Hallelujah. And taking away my reproach. I heard the spirit of God say this morning when I was getting ready. Can Arona says it's been years. I believe your year has come. I believe even in 2018, Brenda, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Share the broadcast. If you just joined us, welcome. <clears throat> Amen. God's response. I heard the Spirit of God say this morning while I was getting ready. And we're going to start praying in a second. If you can pray right now, we're about to hit the moment, guys. Hallelujah. Miracles are going to about. Ooh, I feel the power of God. I can't speak. Miracles are about to be released right now. God's response is about to remove the reproach of the past season. I heard, I heard the Spirit of God say, I heard the Father say, my response is about to remove the reproach of the past season. I feel like I need to say that to a daughter of God that has been believing God for a job for about three years. I don't know if you were fired on your last job. I, I just see like a demonic gang up. Uh, in, in a work situation, it's, it's a daughter of God watching this morning. And, and it, blah, 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 blah. So it's about three years, there was a situation that took place in your job and it was a gang up and it kind of shut you up and shut you down. And, and right now I see, I see, a, I see a release. Family, let's begin to pray. This is the moment. If you are sick in your body right now, I want you to begin to, I saw, I saw, and not only sickness we're going to be praying for, but this is usually the moment where people start getting healed. Hallelujah. The presence of God is so strong in this place. Holy Spirit, I cannot do this by myself. I thank you for what it is that you have done in this broadcast right now. Jehovah Rapha, I ask you to come and begin to heal bodies. Jehovah Jireh, I thank you for all in provision. Hallelujah. Just like Moses cried out, I cry out this morning. Show us your glory. Hallelujah. Father, you said in your word, I will do the very thing you have asked. Bikorobo zungre, bikereba zungre, bikereba zungre, bikaraba zanda. If you can pray in tongues, family, the word of God says one of us can put a thousand to flight, two of us can put ten thousand. There is a force, there is a roar, there is a sound of a mighty army. Shata, I hear a sound of victory in the realm of the spirit. I see healing being released. Hallelujah. Somebody, back pain in your right leg. I don't know if you're 
is actually a number of people with pain on your lower body right now somebody right now you're going to literally feel weariness break up of you somebody right now watching you have been attacked like by a demonic spirit of python that's trying to silence your voice right now you're literally going to feel something leave your neck brobo kaka raka ruhua haria Family begin to pray. We're gonna pray for the next two minutes. We command it family to go. We command chronic pain to go. We command osteoarthritis to go. We command a, a planter for shyness. Is that what you call it? I don't even really know what that is, but I was hearing that this week. Uh, somebody's having an issue with your chest, uh, somebody's having an issue with your heart. Uh, it's actually not your heart, it's uh, your your aorta. Uh, is it a double double aortic uh something? Jesus help me. <laughs> Use my weakness, God. I do not know these names. I think it's a uh, double aorta something. Help me, people. Medical for Jerusha, where you at? Help me, sister. Hallelujah. It's all healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> Issues in the lungs. <laughs> You're getting healed right now. I promise y'all, I'm working on it. I don't know some of these names. Glory to God. Sciatic. <laughs> right now are getting healed and God I command mighty open doors mighty open doors mighty open doors I declare Isaiah 22 22 in the name of Jesus the almighty God I see the father right now standing and he's holding a key and he's unlocking the door Jerusalem's laughing at me forgive hallelujah thank you God shout I feel the wind of the spirit of God. Rika pa 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 pa. Unlocking acceleration. Unlocking breakthrough. Breaking delay. Bre be 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 shaka. Issue is in the sciatica. Y'all are laughing at me. I love you too. I can feel the love in the room. Hallelujah. Isaiah 22, 22. Open up doors, God. Open up doors. 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 Hallelujah. The word of God says that Jericho had been shut about for seven days. And on the seventh day, I hear the spirit of God say the seven day has come. Roko pa 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 pa. This is a moment, fam. Let me feel the this morning, not a striving, but a calling out, not a striving, but like a woman that goes, that releases a groan, when the baby is coming forth, release your groan, release your cry, release your sound, hallelujah, somebody has been, uh, uh, the, the enemy, this is kind of, I'm just going to say what I hear. The enemy has been visiting you at night. You've been having night terrors. I must even see like you literally see like a cast shadow in your room, like a dark shadow. No more. I hear the spirit of God say no more because the light and the life and the breath of God is going to be released in Jesus name. If you are sick right now or if you were sick, do something you could not do. Amen. One of the only things that we can test on the broadcast is uh, healing miracles. Amen. And so continue to pray family. But for the next two minutes, we're going to take testimonies. Do something you could not do, amen. And if you are healed, if you are 80% or more better, I actually got that from uh, Randy Clark. He's a man of God, but I might as well be in his school because I watched so much of his broadcasts uh, and uh, he's, uh, so much of his ministry. And he says 80% or more um, because a lot of times healing is a process, hallelujah. And so uh, <clears throat> if you are 80% or more better, check it. Somebody, your, your back, the pain just left your back. Somebody's back just... Yeah, aortic valve. I think so, Jerusha. Thank you, my sister. Um, somebody's back just popped into place. Hallelujah. If you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all caps. Praise God. I am healed. Hallelujah. I believe healings are taking place right now. I, I want to share. Uh, I'm going to share one about one or two testimonies just to build your faith. A few weeks ago, we had a a, a person who uh, was, the, their nephew was completely uh, deaf completely deaf due to an infection and uh, as they began to pray on the broadcast and they were saying into their nephew's ear uh thank you jesus thank you jesus and the nephew began to say thank you jesus because they were instantly healed hallelujah and so right now if you are 80 percent or more better i want you to type out all caps praise god 
I am here. We will dance with you. I will put on my praise dance. I will shout with you. Hallelujah. I believe that sickness just left. I even feel like there is healing in the mind that is taking place. I feel like somebody just uh, uh, had a, uh, somebody just had a, 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 like you just felt like heaviness lifted off of your mind. Hallelujah. Right now we declare uh, uh, diabetes is getting healed. In the name of Jesus. All right. Check yourself. Amen. If you are 80% or more better, type out all caps. I am here. And I'm going to begin to give God thanks. I won't keep you all too much longer. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Sandra says, I am healed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Angela, in Jesus' name, if you are 80% or more better, type out all caps. Praise God. I am healed. Usually on the broadcast, we see about 11 people healed on the broadcast just right instantly that's what we've been seeing and then we have more testimonies coming some people will go to the doctor a lady she had cancer and we prayed for her she had a uh a cancer in her i think it's like in her plasma i think it's called a oh gosh what is what is happening to my names today i can't remember the myeloma i think it's called yeah, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, somebody else just got healed, having it in the mind, just lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do something you could not do right now, and uh, and and there's such a there's such a movement of the power of God, and I believe you're going to get completely healed. Hallelujah. I believe that's a healing. If heaviness lifts, y'all, that's a healing. People people have to be on medication for that. We have four people got healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We got five people got healed. Thank you, Jesus. Do something you could not do. We drive out infirmity. We command it to go. We command man it to go you have no more hope we had somebody that had a, 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 a I think it's multiple myeloma and we prayed for her hallelujah we commanded sickness to go and, and she met, said me because she had to go to the doctor now you can't check out cancer you have to go to the doctor hallelujah hey Tanya I love you my sister Tanya financial breakthrough is coming to you in Jesus name hallelujah she went to the doctor and she was instantly healed hallelujah I want you all to check again take a deep breath check out your eyes look in the mirror if you can hallelujah try to take a step if you were in pain somebody was in pain yeah somebody says she's laughing again that's right if you were in pain i want you to take a step and walk begin to walk begin to walk hallelujah the man that was paralyzed the paralytic jesus said jesus said rise up and walk I don't know if there's somebody on a wheelchair. I just see uh, there's something that has happened. Thank you, Alexander. There's something that has happened that has impacted. Uh, hallelujah. A lot of you are getting healed from heaviness in your mind. I think that's seven people right now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to count down because heaviness in the mind is a serious thing. Now, I know I've been there. I'm going to share my testimony one day, but I've been there. I've been there. I almost died from it. I almost died from it, but that's a testimony for another day. And so that's a healing. Hallelujah. That's a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all do something you could not do. Glory to God. Uh, uh, Jesus will always tell them a lot of times when he healed them. I'm going to stay for about two more minutes. Jesus will always tell them. Yes, Jennifer, I believe your blood pressure is normalized. Met said me when it happened. Hallelujah. Sandra just got healed. I think that's eight people. Thank you, Jesus. We are contending that every single person on the broadcast this morning, believing God, we have seen since this movement be gone. Hallelujah. Wow. Jackie, are you looking at me free? Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God. We have been trusting God for, with, uh, uh, um, Jackie. She has been in treatment. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. Y'all. I'm so happy right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Can we just begin to thank him? The healer is in the room. Hallelujah. I think Prophet Elaine. I don't know if Prophet Elaine is still watching. Prophet Elaine, do you remember when you prayed with Jackie? Hallelujah. And we just declare that the healing, uh, that the that that this complete freedom from leukemia, amen, shall be a hundred percent in Jesus' name. It shall never return in the name of Jesus. Jackie, I declare over your life. It shall in the mighty name of Jesus, and I declare wholeness in Jesus' name. I declare that affliction shall not arise a second time. I declare divine, divine replenishment in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to give God thanks, family. Thank you, Father.
Thank you, Daddy, for all the people that have gotten healed this morning. And keep testifying, family. Keep testifying. Keep testifying. The power of God is moving. Keep testifying. I'm going to keep you up for about one more minute. Keep testifying and share the broadcast. If you just joined us, God bless you. Keep testifying. Hallelujah. It do something you could not do. Some of you are going to have to go to the doctor. Hallelujah. Somebody had an eye condition. I don't know if it's cataracts in your eyes. Ooh, I feel the wave. I just felt it leave you. I just felt sickness leave you. I just felt infirmity leave you. And I prophesy financial breakthrough. For those who are believing God for financial breakthrough, I prophesy open doors. For those who are believing God for open doors. Y'all, if you are healed, keep testifying. Hallelujah. Keep testifying. If you are 80% or more better, type out all caps. Praise God. I am healed. For the rest of us, for this last minute, we have come to the most important minute of the broadcast. Hallelujah. I like to honor my dad because he is the doer. Y'all know how I like to shout. Who did it? Jesus. Who did it? Jesus. Who did it? Jesus, let's begin to give him thanks. Let's begin to give him thanks. Let's begin to give him thanks. The word of God says there were 10 lepers healed. One came back to say thank you. And there was, he literally ushered him into a creative miracle. He was made whole. His hands grew back. His legs grew back. Glory to God. Let's take a moment to thank the almighty God for what he has done this morning. Your message me as a testimony step place because somebody is going to get a phone call and receive a job. Somebody is going to get a phone call of a mighty open door that you did not even see coming even this week in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are worthy to be praised. Ah, I salute you, my Father. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of our adoration. You are worthy of all the glory. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are my God. You are my Father. You are our healer. You are the God that has come this morning and has removed the reproach of past season. What shall I render unto my God for his goodness upon me? What can we render unto the Lord for his goodness upon us? Daddy, you are <laughs> amazing. And we thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Woo! I hear the Spirit of God saying, I'm finished. And I hear him say, <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Jennifer said, keep going. Get ready. <laughs> I will fill <laughs> your mouth with laughter. You wept. You wept. You wept so, so long. <laughs> Ooh, but I will fill your mouth with laughter. I feel to do this for the last 30 seconds. If you have been... If you have been just feeling heavy and you haven't received your miracle yet, I want you to just lift up your hands and, and <laughs> you're going to begin to feel a joy. <laughs> you're going to begin to feel the joy of the Lord. <laughs> I feel the joy of the Lord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get ready to laugh. God has enlarged your mouth <laughs> over your enemies. <laughs> Thank you, God. I love you so much, Daddy. You are my God. You are our friend. You are our beloved. And we love you, God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive, receive it right now. And feel free to message me, guys. Please feel free to blow up my message if the, as your miracles take place. Amen. Yes, joy is coming. Jennifer, I'm telling you, girl, you're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. I know the night has been long, but you're going to laugh. And I just speak peace in places of turbulence in Jesus' name. Yes, joy is your portion. All right, I'm, I'm done for today, family. I love you all so much. We thank God for all the healings that took place. Glory to God this morning. Amen. Our God is so awesome. He is worthy to be praised. I could keep going because I enjoy his presence. I love you all so much. Please message me as the testimonies happen so I can shout with you. I will dance with you. I, I, I was going to tell you all. 
I could not stop dancing yesterday. I was thinking about the goodness of God. And I, I turned my music on. I cranked it up. I started dancing. I could not stop. Y'all could ask my roommate. I mean, I have to pray like, Lord, well, she used to it now. I, you, <laughs> she's used to it now. Uh, but, but, uh, but, but she know me. One time, one time I was dancing so hard. I was dancing upstairs. I literally broke, I, I broke the light downstairs. I had to be careful because I was jumping so hard and dancing and the light the light bulb came off and my roommate she just started laughing she's a prophet thank god she just started laughing she said she said agnes danced like david danced and she broke the light bulb so we just put in a new light bulb amen and we i kept dancing <laughs> and so that's gonna be your testimony this week <laughs> You are going to dance. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, I love you, my sister. You are going to dance. Hallelujah. As you receive your mega testimony, be blessed. We be me and for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Your season of rejoicing has come in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all be blessed if you just joined us. Make sure you share. Make sure you watch the replay. Hallelujah. Keep on dancing because it is your week. Dance. Sometimes you got to dance before it happens. Dance to see it happen. Dance to cause it to happen. Hallelujah. I love y'all so much. I feel like I need to share this testimony really quickly. Amen. I'm trying to finish. God, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, somebody was testifying about how their sister was about to give birth and they began to dance and as they danced, the baby couldn't stay. So begin to dance this week and your dancing is going to release uh, your babies. It's going to cause your promise to, promise to, promise to come <laughs> forth. I love you. I love you all so much with the love of the Lord. Y'all be blessed. And remember, this is your week of miracles. Amen. Yes, Gypsy. I love you all. Bye-bye.